So, first things first, um, set the camera up on the head and go over to the first stall I see and it just so happens to have some Wii games. Um, they are, I think it's just Dance 1, 2 and 3 and some, I think it's a fitness game. Um, nothing special, nothing worth picking up. Uh, this stall here is here every week. And he sells a lot of PlayStation 2 games and PS1 games. Now, all the games are a pound, uh, no matter what it is. So, there's, there's some good titles in there, but nothing, you know, really that stands out. Just usual stuff that you get from charity shops and stuff like that. Nothing rare, nothing worth. Unless it's a really good game, I'm not going to pick it up. Because um, most of these titles I now, you know, either own or have owned and not really interested in getting again. That was a Thora there. It's not a bad price though, a pound a game, you can't really go wrong. Um, I notice he's got a, another stack of games over here. Uh, more PS2 games and PS1 games. NHL Hockey. A lot of weird games. Um, last week he had uh, a football game which was Animal Soccer. And it was basically bed knobs and broomsticks football. Uh, but with uh, the like I don't know if it was they had the rights to it it was really weird like the cover was bed knobs and broomsticks with a football scene the back of it was nothing to do with bed knobs and broomsticks whatsoever the characters didn't even look the same so it was very weird and Amanda spots a game in a second which is quite weird it looks to be a PS2 disc which has been burned and printed out uh, what it is it's like an emulation disc but it requires a memory card I know you need a memory card that's already got the files on it you put them in put the memory card in load the save and then it like gives a you know backdoor access to emulation and allows you to play snares and things like that there's me finding wild nine if that was there with the cover I would have picked that up it's not a bad game uh, it's quite hard to find um, and it's only a quid but it was pretty bad shape with no covers there's the disc as you can see it's printed on the disc as well all in one ps2 disc but it's not worth picking up because the ps2 probably won't read it unless it's got the memory card with it but if you know any different let me know and let me know what you think but I'll put it back anyway found a demo one disc one of the original ones no, I think that was also a pound, but, you know, I don't really collect demos for that. I collect the demos for the Dreamcast. And then I move on to this guy. Um, I see the Wii. I'm thinking maybe he's got a bargain going on here. Um, until you actually speak to him and find out how much it's worth. Nice little scale electrics there with the Simpsons. Alright. How much are you asking for the Wii? The whole package here is £70. Pounds. So there's a Wii Fit board, the Wii, and a few games like Fitness and stuff like that for £70. Pounds. Now, with sellers like this, I always play dumb. I like to play dumb to see what they're offering. If you tell them you know a lot of stuff, they try and charge you more, I find. So if you play dumb, they normally uh, do a little deal on it. But I know Kieran from Game Boys are awesome, really wants a Wii remote, so I asked him um, you know, how much for the Wii remote if he'd sell it separately. And uh, he says he would for five pounds. So had to check with Kieran first to see if he did want it because I didn't want to buy it. And then he says no, don't worry about it. Here we go. One of ours is. When you press the buttons on the D-pad, it's not responding properly. Oh, right. You play Mario Kart on that, don't we? And then it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. I always give it to her. So He's got three re uh, Wii remotes, but we'll be back to that later on and you'll see what happens. <laughs> we're back in a bit anyway. Yeah, no worries. Got some 
Onto to another store, I see he's got some uh, PSP videos and games. You'll notice a common theme with this video, which is a lot of FIFA games, a lot of uh, common titles like FIFA and Pro Evolution Soccer uh, that are scattered around. But I find Dumb and Dumber there, which is a great little title. And I know Kieran likes it, so I wanted to pick it up for him. You see he's got FIFA Street and a few other games, NFL. I wasn't too sure whose stool it was, if it was the guy on the left or the woman on the right, because it was in the middle, and they were touching, so. I think that's that table, or that one. I'll ask the guy how much. Is it yours, mate? Is it yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes? Uh, how much are the PSP videos? Uh, a pound each, or if you take a few, I'll do a surprise for you. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's worth getting that now, you know, it's a t-shirt that I want a pound on, the raffler is a pound, everything else is in But for a pound, you can't go wrong. I didn't know whether to pick up any of the other titles, but I don't think Kieran was too interested in them. But the missus keeps hold of the cash, so... Getting rid of the change. But not bad for a pound, yeah, really. Nice one. Thank, you. Thank you. Do you want a bag? No. Um. Skip through, found a few more games here. A couple of DS games, mainly rubbish games. You're finding, you know, really cheap shops. Uh, the best game they had was Lego Harry Potter, I think it was. I think it might have actually been just Harry Potter. A few more games, FIFA again, which you find a lot, FIFA 8, FIFA 9, Fuel I think it was, uh, Connect Sports, Adventure or something, um, so yeah, just usual rubbish again, he has a Wii there that I notice, um, I do go to ask him how much he wants for the Wii, but a lady comes in and butts in with this bag asking how much, so I don't know whether the Wii was five, £15 or whether the bag was £15, but... It's just 15 quid. She walks off, so I don't know whether it's the bag or the quee, but I'm not really interested in a wee. I just look for titles for uh, other people. A few more games here. Batman, FIFA yet again. Uh, Driver, I think it is. Nothing that incredible. But as I said, unless it's something really for me to get, I won't get it. A few original Xbox games. Enter the Matrix, Medal of Honor. Now see this Sonic the Hedgehog. I was really interested in it. It looks really nice. It's articulated so you can move with joints. So uh, ask the lady how much it is. And she says £2.50, which I thought was alright. But if you look in the video now, it's got a, re a weird indentation across the top of his head, which has got like permanent marker engraved into it. Now, I know you can remove the permanent marker, but it's indented in the head. So, wasn't too chuffed. You know, it's 250 still not a bad price, but with the mark on its head, it's, you know, I'll, I'll give it a miss. And leave it for another time. A couple more tiles. FIFA again. Yet again. Excuse me, how much are the games? This lady's got a few PS2 games and PSP games, so I ask her how much. She says a pound, but she also says that the titles on the PSP are individually priced. Now, they're all sports titles, really. Uh, a couple of IQ titles, but they were like £4 each. Oh, right, okay. Not really worth it. You know, I would pick up PSP games if they were, you know, really worth it, but not for £4 each for an IQ game. PS2 there, that PS2 looked like someone had dropped it in mud and kicked it down the street. It was so scratched up and covered in mud, it was disgusting. So I'd left that no chance. Go back to the Wii, from the original bit of the video. The first Wii remote is actually an aftermarket one, so I don't know how well it was uh, compared, to how good it is compared to the other ones. It was quite cheaply made and quite flimsy, so I wanted to get Kieran a, a heavy duty, you know, a good, decent original Wii remote. I do try and offer him four quid, but he's not having it. But five is a good price for a Wii remote. I think that's a good price. So I went with that and bought that.
quite a distance to the distance to the next games. Uh, out of my corner of my eye, next to this chap here on the right, I noticed some uh, BBC computer games, which is something you don't really see often. I see Spectrum games now and again. I thought um, I'd have a little look. Nothing special, nothing you know that rare really. Hopper and some basic program titles. I don't have the BBC computer, but I did ask him after the video if he had it, and he sold it last week, so I missed out by a week. A few more Wii titles there. D I think it was D Blob, something like that. Nothing special yet again. <laughs> this is the missus, she was after the meerkat. Now, these meerkats are about £15-£20 on eBay. Um, so she asked me to ask how much, and his wife says, a quid. So you can't go wrong for a quid, so she bought that. But she's got the uh, baby Oleg already, but she was well impressed for a quid. Can't go wrong for a quid, can you? So on this stall here, and it's a Minecraft book. I know my boy's heavily into Minecraft, so we thought we'd try and get that for him. Ask the guy how much he wants for it, and then he says no. <laughs> we couldn't really work out what was going on, but um, he basically thought we said, "Has ask him, did he have any Minecraft books?" Uh, he was a bit confused, but yeah, for a pound, and yeah, that's worth it. They're a tenner normally, so that'll do for a pound. Quite impressed with that, and I am gutted at this bit. See the guy in the red? He's just picked up a few GameCube games for 50p each. I just missed out. If I hadn't bought the Minecraft book and you know dawdled around a bit, his mate comes along, sees the other one, picks up the title. How much? 50p. Couldn't believe it. So gutted. If it, pretty much with GameCube games, apart from the football games, if it's there. I'm going to pick it up for 50p. There's, there's no choice, really. You have to pick it up. So I watched them pick it up. And off they go. There you go. True crime there. You know, 50p all day, that's worth. Go to have a little look. And the only game I can see is Monkey Ball for the Nintendo Wii. They may have wanted 50p for that, but, you know, it's not. You know, it's worth 50p, I suppose, but. I'd rather have had the GameCube games. Look in the plushies to see if there was anything. I asked the lady if she had any other games, and all she had was another copy of Monkey Ball, but the other copy looked like it had been chewed by a dog. The whole case was just shredded all the way along. It was really bad condition. Um, but I'm gutted. I was hoping she'd go, yeah, I've got a few more here. Pull out another stack of GameCube games, maybe a hidden Mario gem, but no. Just... Uh, wasn't quick enough for that one. Sneak him somewhere. Quite a big jump now to the next find. <laughs> Lady here with some Game Boy games. What she did, what I noticed here, if you look on the right, there are cases. There's like 20 cases there, and then there's a cardboard box down to the right, which you can just see in the picture. That is full of cases as well. All Game Boy Advance and Game Boy cases. I have no idea why she has so many, but maybe she collected them, but it's odd. But um, this guy's about to ask how much they are. And uh, he gets told they're a pound a game. So I was like, that's quite interesting. But the games there, they're all copies. Apart from the multi carts at the bottom, I'm quite interested in them still, but she wanted £4 a title, and they're not worth £4, really. The frog from Princess and the Frog there. Didn't pick it up, just thought it was quite cute, so put it in on the video. There's the guys again who just picked up the games, I've already been round and beat me round. Then I spot in the corner of my eye here, a Mega Drive. I was impressed 
to see one of those at the boot sale. Excuse me, how much is your Mega Drive? 20 quid, mate. I'll ask him how much it is. No, if someone went to come and pull the games. Oh. Wants 20 quid. Not a bad price for a Mega Drive, but I asked him if he's got any games, and no someone had already gone along and bought them today. So I'm thinking them lads have gone round and bought them. So I missed out yet again. No, it's an Xbox original there. What Amanda notices, my partner, she notices that on the top it actually says PlayStation 1 and five games for £5. Now, for a fiver, that's really good, but I gave away a load of PlayStation 1s and the actual PS1 small slim console because I just don't need them and there's no room for them. Um, I don't really play them that much now. Uh, and the titles were like Tomb Raider, um, Ridge Racer, things like that. Uh, FIFA, yet again, FIFA. Uh, so nothing really worth picking up. But for a fiver, you know, someone will probably come pick that up today. It's not a bad price. Can't go wrong for a fiver on that. Original Xbox games. That's pain again. Yeah, again, another console. Uh, another Xbox original, which, you know, you can see one of those today. Had a few games with it. Um, Max Payne, things like that. Not, you know, not bad titles, but again, you know, I have no use for it really. Unless it's really retro, I wouldn't pick it up. And that's it for the boot sale. So as you can see with this picture, I picked up the Meerkat toy for a pound, Minecraft, Minecraft book for a pound, Dumb and Dumber for a pound. I found that World of Warcraft starter pack afterwards. Also for a pound and a Wiimote for a fiver. Not a huge pickup. Uh, a few things that we were after. I've got some things for Kieran from Game Boys are awesome. So I'm happy with that. Um, so if you like the video, let me know. Maybe I'll do another one next week. If you find it interesting. If you find it crap, give me a dislike and let me know. But thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.